mention that there's this 15 year old kid going viral. Why? Because he's taking steroids. And the response he's been getting so far has been negative. And of course, it's pretty obvious why. Not just to mention his age, but steroids is just not something that I would recommend. And I'm sure a lot of people would not encourage anyone to take. I made a video about this before, about steroids and my thoughts on it, and I was a lot more lenient. I was just like, hey, who cares? If people want to take steroids, just let them take steroids. It's not affecting you, it's not affecting me, as long as you're not using it to compete, blah, blah, blah. But now my conscience is really kicking in, especially seeing this, and I'm just like, honestly, I just find it so freaking pointless and just sad to see that people feel the need to go, to go down that path to, to achieve happiness because at the end of the day we all do this to make us more happier it's what we enjoy right people who bodybuild they like to build muscle building more muscle is what makes them happy people like me who like strength a lot more than building size becoming stronger not just in lifting weights but in doing calisthenics and other and in other in other realms of my life mental strength emotional strength that's what makes me happy becoming stronger but if I feel the need that I have to go so far as to take drugs for anything, then I know there is something that is, that's wrong with me. There's something wrong with me, right? I'm just going to be honest. I really do believe that people who take steroids do have a body image disorder. So I went on this guy's Instagram and I seen the transformation and I'm just like, holy shit. This guy, he, he, he's, he's. He's bigger than Chris Jones, right? And Chris Jones been doing it for 10 years. 10 freaking years. This guy's 15 and he looks like he's 25. And the thing that pisses me off so much is that there's those there's always those people who support this crap. Who say, oh, well it's, it's 2015, there's ways of controlling it now. It's not so bad. Yeah, they always say that crap until the person dies, right? When the person dies, then they're like, well, you know, like, he should have just controlled it more or took less. Or he should have just waited until he was like 22. Yeah, you always have to have to say after the person is dead. Then it's too late. Then what? Well, I'm just gonna live my life and well, he died by taking five grams per day. I'm just gonna take two grams per day. This is that sick shit in fitness that just that just drives me away from it. Like it's just it, there's so much crap in fitness that just ruins it. It ruins it. It really does. There's the people who always feel a need to tell you that they're better than you. Oh, I'm bigger than you, Simon. Oh, strength over size? You don't got nothing. You don't got neither. Right? Mind you, I, pro I didn't even meet any of these guys before. They haven't even met me. Right? This one guy in particular that I remember recently, we never spoke, never, ever spoke in our lives on, on the internet. And the first thing he comes to me is, comes to me with is, hey, I see you around, and the way you comment, it seems like you're actually somebody on the internet. Like, it seems like you're, you're somebody on the internet. I looked at your profile, and man, you're small. I'm bigger than you. I'm just there wondering, like, what did I do to you for you to, to want to say that to me? Why? Like, why did you say that to me? Is it because you feel that I'm somebody on the internet because I have subscribers? So you want to, so you feel, you feel inferior to me? So therefore, because of your, your, your feelings of inferiority towards me, you feel the need to, to tell me that you're superior in some other way, right? Oh, I look better than you. I'm so dead serious. This guy, multiple times, multiple on different videos, told me that he looks better than me in every way, shape, or form. That's what he said. He looks better than me in every way possible. And I remember telling somebody who was hating on me before, I said, what you say to others is a bigger reflection of what you think about yourself than what you think about that person you're saying it to. Seriously, whether it's positive or negative, when you're saying negative things to people, that is a bigger reflection of what you think of yourself. When you, when you tell somebody that you're going to fail, you you cannot do it. You're saying that because you don't believe you can do that or achieve that also. If you come to to me or anybody else and say, hey, I look better than you. Hey, I get more bitches than you. Hey, I have more money than you. You're saying that to me because you feel that I'm better than you in, a, in, a, in another way and it makes you feel less than. But the thing is, is you, you are better off saying nothing 
than actually saying something towards me, saying something negative towards me. Why? Because you, you're, you're trying to say negative things towards me, trying to, trying to say that you're bigger than me, because you want me or somebody else to acknowledge that, because that's where you place your value in. You're placing your value in your looks. Therefore, you're trying to impose it upon me, and in turn, you want me to feel bad so you feel better. But then you start calling me arrogant or a piece of shit or cocky because I just don't give a shit. I don't care. Right? And then you go, then that person could go around to other people and say, this guy is arrogant. I don't like this guy. He thinks he's all of that. And it's like, no. It's just because I didn't acknowledge that and no one else really acknowledged that. And the thing is, is what you value, which is your look, because no one else really sees that, sees that as valuable, no one even really acknowledges what you work so hard on, you feel like shit and therefore you're not happy. So back to Big Daddy, Big Natty Daddy, with him, he, people will say, hey, just leave him alone, let him do what makes him happy. But here's the thing, it's not going to make him happy. It's going to give him temporary happiness, but he's always going to keep pushing for more. He's already going beyond his genetic limit, right? If your happiness lies, if your happiness lies beyond, beyond reasonable, reasonable limitations, then you're not going to be happy. Right? You keep, your happiness isn't something that's reasonably attainable unless you have to do something like take drugs to achieve it. But again, once you take drugs, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of places no limits on you. Therefore, you're always going to keep pushing for more, pushing for more, pushing for more, and you're never going to be happy. People look at me and say, why do you only want to be 170 pounds? Like, you know, I, I can see you at, at 200. I can see you at 180. Like, push for a little bit more. I remember a guy said that me trying to be 170 pounds, I'm only choosing that because I feel like bodybuilding is too hard and I don't believe I can reach 200 pounds. When really, I'm like, no. I'm somebody who can find happiness within my genetic limits and I don't have to reach my genetic limit to be happy. I don't need to. I can be happy with something that's reasonably attainable in terms of size and strength, in terms of relationships, having children, getting married. It doesn't matter. I am I am able to be happy within, you know, reasonable limits. People who cannot find happy within reasonable limits or, you know, something that's just reasonable, then they, they're not going to be happy at all. And this is why I find sad for people like him who have to take steroids or take drugs or do all these things to achieve their happiness. It's the same as people who starve themselves because they feel that it will make them happy when they're skinnier. When in turn, they're just dying. They're just dying slowly. You know, it's just... It's just sad to witness these things. It really is. It's sad to it's sad to see that people have to go so far just to achieve happiness, right? It's it's, it's sad, and that that's why I'm just so against it because it's not just about it being steroids or you know like it's just like when people feel the need where they have to rob like when they're so desperate for something they, they have to rob somebody you have to rob a bank or. And it's just sad. And I'm not I'm not dissing the people who do that. I'm not dissing the people who take steroids because I feel like those people need help. I'm not dissing people who have to rob or anything. Right? Because a lot of times people do it because they're desperate for something. Right? They're desperate. It's a psychological thing. And when I say strength over size, the physical aspect is such a it's the smallest part out of everything. It's just like when, when Elliot Hall talk, talks about the four layers of strength. And physical is just one part of it. One part of it. And it's just... That's what I oh, that's what I try to instill in you guys. You guys notice how I don't conform to what other people... What other people just normally do. Right? People like, strength over size, you don't got neither... I, I don't care what you think about me. I don't care if you think I'm weak. I don't care if you think I'm small. Because at the end of the day, you're coming to me on my channel. You're watching me. I'm doing something to get your attention, right? So I don't care what you think. If it's, if it's a negative thing, I don't care because I'm doing something to drive those words out of your mouth. I'm controlling that. What I do controls that and it, it, eat, it eats at you. That's why people come to my channel every single time, right? Every single time. And it's just like, sometimes I'm like, I, I, I reply, but I'm like, I don't even need to reply because I'm already getting to this guy. And that's the thing, it's like, it's not that I'm trying to sound like I'm cocky or anything. That's something I want all of you guys to be like. I want you guys to just find happiness within yourself and not with what other people think, right? Who gives a shit about what other people think? Who cares? 
They don't care about you at the end of the day, right? They don't care about you if they're saying anything negative. Don't try to please those who aren't happy with what you are or who you are. Those who are happy with who you are and what you do, be grateful for those people. As simple as that. Have confidence within yourself. And you'll be, able, you'll be able to find happiness without having to take drugs, without having to, to rob people, without having to do things that you wouldn't normally do. It's just, have faith, man. Have faith. Work your ass off. Work your ass off, man. It sucks. Like, my life ain't the best. So what? Okay, I have, oh, you almost have 10,000 subscribers, man. Every, like, I wake up most days, I'm not even happy. But I have faith that my, my future is going to be successful and I can see it. It keeps me going. You guys keep me going, right? You don't see me going taking drugs so I can feel like I get I could get bigger. Oh, Simon, you, you say you can build muscle doing calisthenics? Well, look at your gains. What's been happening? Well, you know what's been happening? I have a kid coming next week, right? I have a kid coming next week, basically. I'm more focused on that. No one was saying nothing when I was doing powerlifting and calisthenics and making gains, right? No one's going back and saying that. So, so, so now I'm having a kid. It's, it's oh, you're, you're not credible. So why, why, am I, why come not? How come I'm not credible when I was getting when I was getting that strength and size before when I had no responsibilities? But now I have a kid coming. Now that I have a kid coming, oh, I'm not credible when I, when I achieved so much already. Kind of turned into a rant, but <sighs> it's sad, man. It's sad, and I just hope for more people to just to just not do this, not encourage this crap, and just just be happy. Make sure I'll wear it in as many videos as I possibly can because apparently y'all like this freaking hat more than me. <laughs>